The crime shocked the nation decades ago. The case against Bobby Kennedy's killer in 1968 seemed open and shut. Or was it? Bill Brown goes in depth tonight with a Reno attorney who says Sirhan Sirhan is not the killer and he's willing to go to court to prove it. Because I did not commit this crime. In 1968, the nation seemed convinced. This man, Sirhan Sirhan, shot and killed Senator Robert Kennedy. He was tackled on the scene, gun in hand. But immediately following the crime, questions began to arise. Questions about police conduct, about the evidence. It cuts right to the heart of the integrity of our justice system. Reno attorney Ken McKenna is one of a growing number of skeptical Americans. But he's going to court to make his point. McKenna has joined Sirhan's defense team. He says the evidence in the case is tainted and needs to be reviewed using today's science. And that the bullets, when tested, will not be able to be tied both to Robert Kennedy and to Sirhan Sirhan. There are websites that are popping up all over that are trying to prove Sirhan's innocence. And the Nevadans that we recently talked to either aren't sure if Sirhan actually killed Kennedy, or if he did, they don't believe he acted alone. But I don't think he did it on his own. I think he was hired. Okay. He didn't have the brains to do it on his own. <laughs> I think big money was involved there, you know. Cyber investigators are trying to build a more scientific case. They don't accept Kennedy's autopsy, saying the information was withheld from the defense until after the trial started. And they believe thousands of photographs and pieces of physical evidence were destroyed by LAPD officers. McKenna says more testing will prove that Sirhan didn't kill the senator, but it could further erode many Americans' already cynical belief in government and justice. All this case right now is about is applying science to evidence in hopes of finding the truth. Now, if people don't like the truth, I, you know, that's not my problem. Mm -hmm. As for where things stand right now, the L.A. District Attorney's Office is preparing its reply. McKenna says the fact that the California Supreme Court did not reject the request is a good sign that he may get a hearing on the matter after all. Renee? Interesting story. Thanks, Joe.